Washington football fans, welcome to another edition of the Washington Football Maniacs. These videos here lately have been uncensored, unedited, uncut, because I have just not had the time to do any video editing. So bear with me, you're probably going to see somebody on a lawnmower behind me. That is okay, alright? So getting into the video today, we're talking about the injuries that the Washington football team sustained this past Sunday. Of course, Logan Thomas had that hamstring injury. He's probably going to be week to week from what from what I hear. Hopefully, he's going to be ready to go this Sunday. But if not, then Samus Reyes looks like he is going to get some playing time. I know a lot of folks are excited to see the Chilean out there on the field. I'm excited too. The, I mean, the man is, is stacked. So let's see if his physical attributes can kind of match up with his football skills. Uh, maybe a lack of, but hey, I mean, he's he's got the he's got the tools. So let's see if he can use them, right? Uh, of course, uh, Ricky Seals Jones is going to be the the number one tight end while Logan Thomas is out. So you know, let's just see how things go. Of course, we we drafted John Bates. John Bates is going to have to get in there. I, I really want to see. John Bates, you know, going out for passes and things like that. I want to see how he can he can deal with that. Um, I mean, you know, anytime you feel like you spend a draft pick on these players, you want to see them play, obviously. We want to see where they worth that draft pick. So moving along, of course, now on the defensive side of the ball, John Bostic out for the season. Uh, Tory McIntyre out for the season. Linebacker crew, of course, again, we want to see what Jamin Davis can do. He's our first rounder. We really feel like he needs to be in there playing. I mean, he should be a difference maker. So if he's a difference maker, he needs to be actually out there on the field playing. So I want to see more out of him. Uh, we haven't really called his number a whole lot. He's made a couple of good plays, but... Now is his chance. Now is his chance to shine. I think we're also going to see a little bit of a, was it Kalik Hudson? It's probably going to be in there as well. So, yeah, injuries are starting to mount up. And unfortunately for this team, that always seems to be the case, right? Always seems to be the case that, especially in the last several years, injuries have played a huge role in success or, or, or failures of this team. And this year's gonna be no different. You know, we started off with Ryan Fitzpatrick going down in the first game of the season. But, you know, on the flip side of that, sometimes things that are positive, that are good for the team comes out of that. I mean, we, we hate to see players get injured, but it also allows other players a chance to prove themselves. Taylor Haneke right now, of course. I think he's I think he's playing really well as a quarterback. I mean, he's going to have some up and down games. He's going to have some interceptions because he's kind of like that Brett Favre type of player, you know, the gunslinger, the, you know, he's, he's not going to be a game manager because he's not. Uh, and putting him into a role as a game manager probably is a mistake. So... You know, you're going to have some ups and downs with Taylor Haneke, but I think he's the real deal, honestly. I, I mean, I've been very impressed at how he has played. So, honestly, I have no worries with Taylor Haneke right now at quarterback. As far as I'm concerned, he can stay in there at quarterback unless we really start, you know, losing a lot and he starts really stinking it up. Um I am just fine with Taylor Haneke. I think he, he gives us a lot at that position. Um, you know, another one that we haven't really talked about um, that was kind of gimpy uh, toward the end of the game was Antonio Gibson. Now, we really do not need Antonio Gibson hurt. We need him healthy. We need him out there in the field because we're going to have to rely on him a lot. Taylor Haneke needs to rely on Taylor, uh, Antonio Gibson a lot. You know, Having that strong running game really helps an inexperienced young quarterback, and that is exactly what Taylor Haneke needs right now. So 
I'm hoping that Antonio Gibson will be healthy and ready to go against the Saints on Sunday. We'll see. I mean, like I said, there there hasn't been anything said about his health. So we'll just have to monitor that. Uh, I know that there was also some talk about uh, De'Ami Brown. He didn't return in the game against the Atlanta Falcons. He was injured as well. Uh, I haven't heard any more. I want to hear a little bit more about is he going to be healthy? Is he going to be out there? Because, again, I think when you get Curtis Samuel out there and, of course, Terry McLaurin, that is just going to make the stock of Diami Brown go up because suddenly people are forgetting about Brown. They're focusing on Curtis Samuel. They're fo focusing on Terry McLaurin. And, of course, when Logan Thomas is healthy, they're focusing on him. But they're forgetting about Diami Brown. And so there's some opportunities for Brown to really succeed. I just, again, I hope he's healthy. I hope he's ready to go. I know that he uh, had sustained some sort of injury and didn't play the rest of the game um, against Atlanta. So injuries are piling up, folks. It's just part of the game. We're going to have to deal with it. And then if that wasn't worse enough, uh, the FBI raids the facilities of the Washington football team and our head trainer right now is under investigation don't know what that is about but can we please just get away from all of these investigations and <clears throat> excuse me all field stuff you know I, I think that for us fans we just we want we want a franchise that is clear of any type of you know, controversy and all of that. We're trying to get away from all that. And it seems like we just can't, you know, whether if it has anything directly to do with the team or not, we just can't seem to get away from controversy. So stay tuned for a little bit more news on that. Uh, I want to, I want to hear about, about that as well. But anyway, enough of this video. Hope you guys have a great Tuesday. I will see you in the next one.